Razor, so is that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 Gotta get you going. <laughs> What's up, <that>, Wilson? <laughs> hey. <laughs> You know, yeah, you so. crazy, man. You crazy. <laughs> you're not even uh, gonna get the same energy from Dion. You get you get that from Dion. <laughs> Dion's a it's a good hype man, but here we go. Uh Wilson Morales, Black from the TV. Hi Roxanne, how are you? <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, you shook me up just now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as one of the uh fewest female producers doing uh Hollywood movies. You know, you get a chance to say yes or no on projects. What was the, uh, what made you say yes to this one? Well, you know what? I don't do anything anymore that, that I don't believe in. You know what I mean? Like earlier in my career, you kind of just do everything that's brought to you. And, and I just feel like I'm just at a point in my life where I'm just not going to do anything regardless. And, and this film, again, I think speaks to a lot of people that have gone through a lot of things, um, in their life and you know it's a lot of flawed characters going through a lot of different things and it's it's how you deal with this stuff and the choices that you make and you know although it's it's a little creepy and a little psychotic and a lot going on I mean the message is 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 the decisions you make you know and the rabbit hole that you may go through to get and sacrifice what you want or don't want so you know now the movie just based on a trailer it looks like a homage to films we've seen in the past what did you do to try to make this different from what people may think this movie may be a lot maybe about i mean we we modernized it you know what i mean i, I do think it, it 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 has the basis of the fatal attraction you know what i've been hearing but it's 2020 it's a different world it's elevated you know what i mean it's hillary swank it's michael ely it's mike coulter it's tyron turner opposite hillary swank like, who's ever done that? Like, that's crazy, you know? But sh sh highlighting a Black couple that's successful, you know what I mean, that came, you know, Mike had a hard life growing up in the movie. He turned a corner, became successful. Damaris, his wife, beautiful woman, you know, they have strong careers and just got themselves in a pickle, you know? And I think the twists and the turns and the different rides that you're going to experience, well, you'll find are a lot different than than the homage of the older films. Now, who came first in terms of being cast, Hillary or Michael? I know if you've worked with Michael before, um, but who came to be like when you were putting this together? Like, who did you want you know to cast first? Well, technically, Hillary because she they got to approve, you know, the the man that that's going to be standing next to them, especially intimately. So, you know, we definitely knew that this was for Michael, but we did have to cast that leading lady um, and make sure, you know, that she was happy and comfortable with, you know, who she was gonna be sharing that screen with. You know, when you're in those intimate scenes like that, it's, it's very difficult um, for, well, I don't know, I would just imagine, you know, that it's kind of difficult to, to be in those, uh, to be in those rooms, to, to do those scenes. And they gotta be, they got to trust who it is. They got to be comfortable with who it is. And, you know, all we got to do is show her that picture and it was over. She was like, uh -huh. you didn't know who Michael Ely was at first. So once we showed that picture, it was game over. And, um, you know, they, they killed it on screen. I mean, it looked like we had been shooting for months. You know what I mean? That first initial scene was a week in to the script and to the shoot and, and they, they killed it. And, um, so technically Hillary came first, um, but Michael was always in the in our mind and our zeitgeist who we wanted to play the role. Mm -hmm. As I wrap up, you know, when you have an accomplished director like Dion, you have an accomplished actor like Hillary mm -hmm. and Michael and the rest of the cast, you know, do you just sit back and let them do their work? Like, okay, you guys create, I've done my part. Yeah, I mean, that's be great. My job is done, right? You ain't gonna do nothing if you got them. <laughs> no, I mean, it's... It, Listen, it's a team effort. You know what I mean? You're constantly tweaking and 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 trying to figure out the best ways because although it's on the page, things change once you get on on set. You know what I mean? And something that maybe made sense doesn't necessarily make sense when it's coming out of their mouth on screen. So you're you're definitely working and tweaking and trying to figure out the best ways to make the movie great. And um, I wish it was that easy, but you know, 
Dion challenges everybody, all his talent. He challenges, you know, to, to go to that next level. And I think he really brought that out of, of everyone in this movie. You've done a job well done. Obviously, we'll Thank talk you. again on your next project. Keep it going and stay Thanks, safe. Thanks, Wilson. All right, Kaiser, so safe. <laughs> Bye. Take Happy care. holidays. Same to you. All right.